regret this. Who's that guy? That's Tron. The 1982 film Tron wasn't a box office hit, but the arcade games that came out of it were and still are. It's kind of known as one of the more beautiful cabinets because it glows under black light and in a darkened arcade, you know, it really stands out. Tim Lapatino wrote the book, The Art of Atari, the games that I grew up on. Go oh, no, get him. Old school. Ooh. Because, man, somewhere in one of these memories is the evidence. If I got in far enough, I could reconstruct it. In the movie, right. Jeff Bridges plays a programmer whose games get stolen. He tries to find the people who took them. Sucked into the computer world by this evil, malevolent program called the MCP, and then he has to end up doing the thing that he did as a programmer. He built these games, but he has to actually play them in the, in the, inner, the electronic world. When Disney came calling to help create an arcade game, George Gomez was one of the designers at a Chicago company called Midway. I've been a designer my whole career. I've designed toys, video games, and pinball machines. But Tron was his team's first big accomplishment. We just wanted to make a cool game. We didn't really realize that 40 years on, people were still going to be talking about it. 41 years later, Tron games are still going strong. Yeah, we were lucky enough to be a part of that. The Tron exhibit at Chicago Game Space runs on the weekends through August. In Humboldt Park, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.